Hey, well, so we got a problem. Not a very fun problem. Um, an error 22. I'm assuming that that is temperature. Well, I don't know if I can see that. I think it's overheating. I've had the as I as I always do. I've had the I have both doors shut um, and locked. So in but inside here isn't very hot. Forty degrees and outside it's thirty eight. So it's not terrible. I wonder if I shut the power down for a little while. So that turns to twenty. So that's uh, no voltage input. That should shut it down. And I brought my little Ryobi fan up. This should be a bit. The batteries are actually a bit flat. Just cool it down a bit. I've never actually. I've had this for three, two years, and never had a problem with it. It just thermal. It just hit hot. It, uh, like cool air goes in at the bottom, and then flows through up to the top. So there's plenty of airflow around it. But we can cool it down a bit. While we're waiting for that to cool down, we might just show you around here a bit with the temperatures. It's a pretty warm day again. It's not as hot as it was the other week. Actually, what was I did? What did I did the other week? That's the ground in front of me, 58, 60 degrees. But that's obviously that's ground temperature. That's not. That's not air temperature. That's almost 50 degrees. That's nice and hot to touch. And we're drawing 650 watts from the um, from the batteries at the moment. What's that in amps, Pete? We've still got 97 amp hours to go before it's fully charged. 87 percent. Uh, what's that? 54 volts. There you go. Pulling 11 amps. Um, and it's one o'clock in the afternoon. Uh, yeah, 600. Uh, anyways, about 500 watts is pulling. So let's come back over here. So that's shut down again. The temperature is still nice and warm on top. I know this is going to take a little bit of while. A little while to cool down. I just want to turn it back on again. Now it's got some airflow. Now the kicker is I don't leave these sheds unlocked, so we can't get. I can't really get rid of the heat, and I'm really reluctant to actually um, put any roof vents in. I basically just rely on these little these little holes here to, to thermal siphon the air and the same as this one it's easy to see I drill the whole the big holes all the way along the bottom yeah let all the rodents in or whatever it's a bit of a mess and again the hot air can just escape out those holes and it does seem to work quite well like even so down that end 38 degrees that's ambient air temperature so that's that's not bad, and right up the top there, get near that tin, it gets warmer, as you would expect. And as you would expect, you go lower, it gets cooler and cooler. Yeah, 32, 32, 34, 36, 45, then out to the sun, gets around 60. So, okay, let's turn that back on again. that kick back in again 113 volts it's under 120 volts what I want to see if that ever goes under over 120 volts I've got to do some big changes now the watts start coming up the amps start going down no sorry watts start coming up amps go up and then the voltage goes down And the error is gone, which means it was just overheating. So 
So it is time to do something with some fans. I don't know if I'm just going to run, maybe just put a, uh, maybe just put a fan on top of that or underneath it, and just force air up through it rather than it's just doing it naturally. There you go. Go back up to 36 amps. Again. The finale and the ironic part about this video was my phone overheated and shut down and I couldn't finish it. So I'm back again and all I've done is put a rare earth magnet there and there. So I'm just pulling power off there. Yes, it's going to imbalance it, but at what, 0.3 of an amp, it's not going to hurt it for very much. So until I can work it out, a better way of doing it, that can just sit there. It's going to cause a little bit of extra airflow and we won't have any more error codes.